hour ago, there were people at their gas pumps who turned to look at the smoke that was coming from the city, started stepping out of bodegas and stores to look. Now people are gathering in large groups. In fact, in one corner, I saw a group of people actually holding hands and praying. As I stand on the uh, Manhattan Street, which is closed, it is open to pedestrian traffic. Uh, some people are walking in crowds, but there's just no way for them to... Uh, as I look at something else, I can't... Uh, it's not just going to be This time, we will record when the sound meters peaked to determine the timing of the strongest sound pressure waves. The original digital sound recording contains very significant peak events of short duration, typical of drum beats and high-speed, high-power explosives. The first massive sound peak at minus 17 seconds is followed by clouds of smoke and dust rising from the base of the tower. An internal and cascade series of sharp peaks are also evident before and during the tower's fall. I did pass through a couple of parks and on some of the streets, and before, when I reported about an hour ago, there were people at their gas pumps who turned to look at the smoke that was coming from the city. It's time to wake up, people, and witness the true atrocities happening right before your eyes. So then, you may be asking yourself, how do these people get into power? To answer this, we must go back in time and look into governmental history. Ironically, if you split the word governmental, you are left with two common words, govern or to control, and mental or the mind, to control the mind. Symbolism and secrets lie everywhere we look, and it is this wisdom that has been held secret and passed on to future generations. The pyramid has always been used to differentiate the royalty or rich from the peasants, middle class, and the poor. The symbol as well as the pentagram can be found everywhere, including the street layout in Washington, where the White House falls directly on the point of the star. Other landmarks are built upon the other four points as well. This type of astrological based building can be found being used by many cultures throughout history. Knowledge of space, energy, science, and complex mathematical structures, such as the Mandelbrot set in sacred geometry from the mystery schools, is information that the global elite and secret societies don't want you to know about. So how then, can lying, murdering politicians gain such complex knowledge and make their way up the pyramid of power? 
symbolism and secrecy dates as far back in time as we can remember, and it is highly visible in Freemasonry. Freemason lodges are within nearly all major communities around North America and in Europe, and chances are if you look in the phone book, you will find a blue lodge near you. There is nearly 5 million Freemasons around the world, yet most only move up the pyramid to the third degree, or Master Mason. They can then choose to move up to the 33rd degree by advancing to the Scottish Rite, although some may choose the alternate and join the York Rite. It is during this phase that the Mason must swear with his life to never release the secrets of the Masons. Many rituals, reenactments, and initiations are done before the member can achieve himself to the 33rd degree, and after this lengthy process, they can choose to go even higher up the pyramid, eventually making it into the top groups of global elite like Bilderberg, Skull and Bones, and spots in presidential administrations and military control. Albert Pike was a soldier in the Confederate Army, as well as a writer, attorney, and Odd Fellows Order Mason, where he joined the Lodge in 1840. In 1871, he wrote what Masons to believe their Bible, a book called Morals and Dogma of the Ancient and Accepted Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. He also predicted three world wars. While serving as general during the Civil War, Pike was faced with charges accusing him of being in charge of soldiers that were committing crimes on the battlefield, such as scalping soldiers. Very early war crimes indeed. There is also the fact that Pike was among the founding members of the Ku Klux Klan, which is also directly related to Freemasonic beliefs in higher level circles. The Klan's logo is also two cross pillars which also resembles the Iron Cross. Ironically, a monument of Pike stands in Judiciary Square in Washington, D.C. It must be noted that Freemasonry is thought to date back to the ancient pyramid builder Hiram Abiff and the Knights Templar are thought to be related by blood to top Masonic families and Illuminati bloodlines. Freemasons are older than Canada and the American Republic itself. There has been 14 known presidents who were Masons, including British royalty, Napoleon, and many others. It was actually Napoleon's grandnephew, Charles J. Bonaparte, that founded the FBI, the Federal Bureau of Investigation. He also founded the American Protective League and was Attorney General of the United States from 1906 to 1909 under the Roosevelt administration. Freemasonry has also been directly linked to Satanism and witchcraft as the rituals and initiations are almost exactly the same. Freemasonry happens in nearly every city and we must speak out against what happens in secrecy behind closed doors. This bloodline-related, pyramidic power structure system can be traced back to ancient Egypt. The Egyptian structure shows that the workers, or the slaves, are at the bottom, followed by lower class, middle and upper class, and finally the pharaohs on top. Today our world is run in a similar fashion. As you can see, the power structure begins with Freemasonry and moves up to the Shriners. During this process, advocates are encouraged to obtain key employment positions so that they can manipulate and control society. These positions of power are most certainly inherited and not earned a majority of the time. This secret government is set up just like the Mafia and operate in the same fashion. They muscle their way through the system using corruption and murder to get what they want. This public corruption has been going on for too long and we must turn this pyramid upside down because we the people are stronger than the society within this society. You both were members of Skull and Bones, a secret society at Yale. What does that tell us? Uh, not much because it's a secret. <laughs> Is there a secret handshake? Is there a secret code? I wish there were something secret I could manifest. There. 322? A secret number? Uh, there are all kinds of secrets, Tim, but one thing is not a secret. I disagree with this president's direction that he's taking the country. We can do a better job, and I intend to do it. And we'll be watching. Be safe on the campaign trail. John Kerry, thanks yes, for joining us. And we'll be right back. Many people have dubbed those who research into crime and politics conspiracy theorists, claiming they are mad, wacko, and out of their minds. The truth is, a theory is someone's guess or opinion on a certain subject, but when cold hard facts are presented as evidence, these theories become truth. It is unfortunate, however, that the ones pointing the finger and laughing at these so-called theorists are actually the ones who are uneducated and still asleep to the truth. Most people spend all their time brainwashed by what the TV networks force us to watch, when we really should be watching independent documentaries about true knowledge and the truth about what is going on in our world. The media, however, does an excellent job in controlling the programs we watch, which influences families' lifestyles everywhere. Most television offers no intelligence whatsoever, and this is suppressing the potential of how smart the average human can actually be. Slowly, though, people are waking up, 